Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived a man so exceptional that the divine hosts of heaven and hell were forced to take note. A man dangerous enough to bring Satan to his knees, but selfless enough to make God himself raise an eyebrow. How did this come to pass? Well, it all began at a very special birthday party for a very special young lady. Surprise! What is all this? It's your birthday, Kenzie. So? You've never been to a birthday party? No. Oh, like not even growing up? I went to the School of the Americas since kindergarten. We didn't really do birthday parties. But you celebrated Christmas? I don't have to explain myself to you. Oh, Kinsey, this is going to be so much fun. Zinjai made a cake. Jane Austen is here. We'll play some games. What sort of games? <laughs> so you celebrate birthdays by trafficking with spirits? It's spooky and fun. It's a bunch of letters. It's tradition. Every slumber party has to involve a spirit board. Slumber party? How's it work? We ask it a question, and the spirit of the board will reveal the answer. How? Yeah, someone pushes the pointy thing to wherever they want. Wait, wait, wait. Can we go back to you and your slumber parties? No time. All right. Everyone put their hands on the cursor. Cursor? I feel the magic already. All right. Will the president slash god emperor for life ever choose a partner to reign alongside them? No. Ooh, someone's getting married. Shut up, Matt. Who will tame the president's wild heart? <laughs> what are you guys trying to spell? I'm not moving it. That's the spirit, Kinsey. I'm serious. I'm not moving it either. Neither am I. Jezebel? Who the fuck is... <laughs> Is that not normal? Where'd you get the board? I was going through Zinyak's artifact collection and found it there. Who did it belong to? Alistair Crowley? Oh, Christ. Um, guys, I think it's laughing at us. Fuck this. I think you're a smart enough piece of wood to see where this is going. Now, are you ready to cooperate? That's more like it. You think we can trust it? It's not like we got a lot of options. So what's the plan? We mount up and go in after the boss? No, I do. No sense in what's left of humanity walking right into a death trap. Someone's gotta live to tell the story. That's a stupid plan, Johnny. I'm leaving you in charge. Hell of a plan, Johnny. Are you serious? I'm coming too. Are you kidding me? How do you plan to come back? I try not to sweat the details. You need someone with you that does. No. It's my birthday. Fine. All right, then. You know where my friend is? True to its word, the spirit board opened up another portal and sent Johnny and Kinsey screaming into hell. behind this, I know it. Ultor and the Saints haven't been enemies in years. You really think he's responsible? You don't know him like I do. The boss put him through a window for a reason. The reason was the boss was kind of fucking crazy back then. That's a fair point. You know how much easier this would be if we just found a car? You know how much easier this would be if you just gave me a second? You should have expected this. You're in hell. Alright. 
Now how are we gonna find the Eltor building? Biggest building down here. Giant altar sign on it. I don't think this is a problem. I'll buy that. got the attention of the demons. How do we want to handle this? We handle it by killing demons. I think we may have got the attention of the demons. How do we want to handle this? We handle it by killing demons. I will fucking end you. and Johnny Gat driving together on a birthday adventure. Are you always this excited? Generally, I'm a misanthrope. I get it. So this is hell. Not as bad as I thought. Kind of reminds me of Steelport. <laughs> so, what's the plan? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna shoot him in the face unless he gives us the boss back. What if Dean doesn't have the boss? I'll probably still shoot him. Welcome to hell. Shouldn't you have a receptionist? Such is the plight of eternal damnation. I have a feeling you didn't come here to catch up. Let's talk in my office. Not even death could stop the enterprising Vogel, who wasted no time in setting up an altar branch in the bowels of hell. Dane was eager to fill Johnny in on the ever-shifting politics of land rights in the underworld. But real estate mattered little to Johnny, who only cared where his friend was. Where'd you put the president? I've been trying to explain that I didn't take them. Bullshit. You expect me to believe you just happen to be the first thing we see in hell. Maybe it's just me, but your thank you sounds more like an accusation. That's probably because he plans to kill you. Okay. I get the trust issues. Can I show you something? The pieces all came together. The president had caused more chaos and destruction than any other in human history. It was only natural that Satan would want them to marry his daughter. They needed a plan. And Johnny had one. I'm gonna shoot the devil in the face. I think you might be skipping some details. No, I said in the face. I like the commitment, but you gotta find a way to get close enough to him in the first place. When's the wedding? I'll just show up and... and then you'll shoot him in the face. Sorry, but it's a little more complicated than that. These things are tied to the soul. You won't be able to enter without one. So how do we get one? You get his attention. I know some places that are of particular value to the father of the bride. You hit those, you'll get your shot. Wait, why would Satan give out an invitation for destroying his stuff? Oh, he won't, but it should piss him off enough to get him to attack Johnny personally. Either the devil kills Gat and Ultor gets the construction contracts to rebuild what was destroyed, or Johnny kills Satan and I'll have to pay less taxes. 
pretty win-win. That's why you're helping us? To make more money in hell? Hell's what you make of it, sweetie. Works for me. What you got? All right. Satan had entrusted the day-to-day -day running of hell to five archdukes, and Dane knew how to find them all. But beyond that, not everyone in hell was content to go along with Satan's status quo. There were others who shared Dane's ambition for power, and the Altor Mogul knew that the key to unseating Satan lie in gaining their aid. But before Johnny set out to wage war against the Prince of Darkness, Dane had one final gift. An artifact that he had spent fortunes on. Lucifer's Cracked Halo. This holy relic granted Johnny the majestic wings of the Morning Star. However, he still needed help in learning how to use them. You got me on the sticks, now what? Would it kill you to show a little excitement? You're about to experience angelic flight, for Christ's sake. Dane. Someone needs a nap. Just collect some soul clusters and power up the halo. You'll be flying around in no time. Great. Now you should have just enough clusters to power up your halo. Start slow, try to jump over to that next island. Also, the longer you charge your wings before jumping, the further you'll go. Hey, you didn't fuck it up. Good job. Now get up that cliff. Don't worry, if something looks too high, just keep on jumping off the wall. Remember to charge your jumps if you want to get up the cliff faster. The rest of the wings. Now it's time to fly. You heard of crawling before walking? Well, in this case, you need to jump before you can fly. Launch yourself in the air with a jump and then. Hold your wings out to glide to that next island. I put out some orbs to show you the path. You'll have to dive to reach the next island. Do that by pointing your head down. Don't worry, the rest of your body will follow. Put a shiny flap orb out in front of you. Collect the orb, and your wings will flap to gain speed. All right, now try flapping those wings on your own. Do a flap on your way to the next island. what these things can do the exact opposite of diving is climbing climbing will slow you down and eventually cause you to stall and trust me stalling sucks you can flap while gliding to gain additional speed so the faster you're going the higher you can fly now try to reach the island up there
All right, time to take the training wheels off for the final lesson. Flying takes stamina. If you run out in midair, you are going to drop like a rock. A stupid, stupid, stamina-less rock. Last island is right under those lava falls. Notice how your stamina drains the longer you glide. God, this feels good. Let's get you back to the old tour building. I want to run through all the stuff you can do to hurt Satan. Sure thing. See you soon. Here's the deal. If you want some face time with Satan, you need to get his attention. Now, Satan hates being challenged, so anything you do to undermine his control is good. Fraud, mayhem, shooting demons in the face, anything. You can keep track of Satan's wrath with this handy meter. Get it high enough, and you'll be having drinks with Big Red in no time. I've compiled a list of shit to do, so take a look and do whatever sounds fun. Oh, one more thing. We have some potential allies down here. Trust me, you want to impress them. I hope there's not something ridiculous like a hundred of these to find. Satan could have avoided all of this if he just listened. Don't mind if I do. Lots of ways to get Satan's attention, but we should never forget the class. Rampant fucking murder. Pride is a sin the Devil's Army has in spades, so if you want to pick a fight, you can bet your ass they're coming in droves.
A Damn Souls Orientation Guide, Chapter 1. The Dead. Welcome to hell, O oh ye of questionable morality. Who you were on Earth no longer matters. When you arrive here, everyone from the mightiest crime lord to the elderly gentleman who takes pens from banks begin the same way. As wretched ghouls wandering the streets. As a shadow of a man, you are stripped of your sins and condemned to a meaningless existence. Eternal playthings for a demonic host who is all too eager to fly its prey. Uh oh. My lawyer, Legal Lee, figured out a way to get some gold level clients a fast track out of hell. The more abuse you put these guys through, the more years we can shave off. Lee suggested running clients through the designated intersections to boost their punishment. 
Oh, and dive in front of those vehicles on fire for bonus points. I mean, let's face it, the more they hurt, the sooner we can get these wretched bastards out of here. While his wife Laura was admitted into heaven, the Heavenly Father was less forgiving of poor Tobias, whose shirtless antics as a crazed drug dealer firmly earned him a place inside Great Inferno. However, ever the optimist, Tobias tried to look on the bright side of being transformed into a husk. After all, while the removal of his signature dreadlocks was a disappointment, he was finally free from having to wear pants ever again. But while Perpetual Commando appealed to Tobias, he still yearned for Laura and her delightful snickerdoodles. Touched by his story and terrified by his demeanor, Legal Lee worked with renewed purpose to unite the two lovers. On one of the marshalling grounds. Satan uses these things to arm and send off armies to crush his enemies. If you convert all the control stones, we should be able to use them to get around hell even faster. Predictably, there's a terrifying archdemon protecting the marshalling ground, so it's gonna be a fight. Don't worry, though. Or well, maybe you should worry. It's a scary fucking demon, but whatever. You'll figure it out.
This is bad. Fuck. Uh oh. Oh boy. just entered one of four soul extraction facilities. This is where souls enter hell to have their sins removed and then thrown to the streets to wander for eternity. Now make no mistake, this isn't Satan being magnanimous. Sins are the currency in hell. That means these places are the cornerstone of his income. There's three sections of the facility, and to fully take it over, you need to capture all three. But be careful. Satan's goons are going to be looking to reclaim any section you're not guarding. You pull this off, you'll hurt Satan and Ultor makes money. It's win-win.
Okay, I have a thought on how we can get the attention of Satan, and I really think you're gonna like this one. Blow the shit out of everything, and I mean everything! Demons, cards, adventures are real popular. Just tear this place apart! Everyone's chasing the Stygian dream down here. A way to make hell just a little more tolerable. And when you're surrounded with that amount of desperation, believe me, it's easy to find people who lay it all on the line for next to nothing. Some folks think I had all this handed to me and I take advantage of people, but here's the God's honest truth. In life and in death, I worked for everything that I had. Opportunities mean fuck all if you do nothing with them. Most of these poor bastards down here whine about their lot in life, but are unwilling to do anything about it. That's not me. Thank <laughs> you. 
right, buddy, let's take this opportunity to stretch those wings. I've set up a rudimentary flight path through the city. All you need to do is hit the checkpoints in the order they appear. Now, because I'm a swell guy, I put some orbs out there to help you. The white ones will recharge your wings. The green ones will give you more stamina. Let's go. come with an on button. This is bad.
abandoned ship. We've been boarded. <laughs> Damn things off my ship! I got a bit of treasure in that chest over there. The weapon you find inside may help with our little imp problem. That is a freakishly large hammer. Summon these imps to serve as my crew. I forgot what a handful they could be. Once aboard, they wouldn't listen to their captain. They ran amok in the bowels of the ship. Queen Anne's Revenge! Isn't that just a fancy name for a boat? Names are important, my dear. You can't build a legacy without a name. Zinyak's destruction of Earth had a profound impact on the afterlife. To heaven, it was a logistical nightmare. Saint Peter's meticulous nature drove purgatory wait times to unbearable levels. Meanwhile, in hell, where souls in pain were used as currency, it created a new era of prosperity for the wickedly enterprising. This economic boom resulted in the coffers of hell to be overflowing, which in turn piqued the interest of the most notorious man that sailed the Seven Seas. Long had Blackbeard been a thorn in Satan's side, robbing tax collectors on a semi-regular basis. But the promise of an immeasurable fortune drove him to be even bolder. An arrangement was reached. Blackbeard would provide information on strategic targets in exchange for a share of the profit. Johnny, who was interested in murder, not money, happily agreed. I grant ye the ability to summon my crew whenever they're needed.
right, matey. It's time for your lesson. Let's summon me favorite scurvy riddled hellion, the Imp. Why don't you start off by summoning an Imp to take out those enemies? <laughs> there you go, matey. Now take down the other demon. are vicious. Now let's practice your aim. Take down the demons on the islands. are as rewarding as pressing someone into service, am I right? Now get going. There's a whole wide world waiting to be plundered. The Barrens were the only place desolate enough to allow me to build the Queen Anne's Revenge in peace. Before I discovered the Barrens, all of my efforts would be overrun by people looking to cause me harm. But here, the energy it would require to ruin my day wasn't worth the wasteland they would have to traverse. Being a pirate with no water to sail on is like you. Being a pirate with no water to sail on. I tried to build a craft that could weather the lava, but each time the craft and crew would erupt in flames. That's why today, the Queen Anne's Revenge sails on thermal currents and arcane magic. Yes, the arcane magic is doing the heavy lifting, but I'd like to believe the sails are still doing something. Thanks. I need you to stop. What? Do you really think Satan could still be thinking about Jezebel's wedding after all the damage you've done? I'm telling you, the devil is about to react in a big way. And when he does, we need to be ready. Satan didn't have much time to react to the war Gat was waging, because at home, Jezebel was waging a war of her own. I don't love them! You think I care? If you started acting like a father, you would. I'm looking after your best interest. You don't care about my happiness! This is about you! If you just stop telling- You will marry that saint, and I won't hear another word! I won't do it! You think because you're my daughter, you think that you're above it all. But schemes are currently in motion. Your choice, be a wife or be a thrall. They say the devil's in the details, and I have some more for you. Celestial light doesn't shine a ray here. Happy endings are through. I'm giving you away! Your blood will not save you! My hand will be cruel if you disobey! You belong to me! Never! I'm sick of perdition, so tired of tradition, but now my time has come to go break away, to live for today.
You don't know that, Johnny. I'm tearing this place apart, but Satan doesn't even seem to... We didn't come this far to fail. You think I'm giving up? We have one less place to go. What if it doesn't work? The bus is counting on us. You think I don't know? How do I burn down a city that's baptized in fire? How do I kill off an army that's dead? Time's slipping away now, and the best plan we've got is just put one inside Satan's head. If roles were reversed, God, I know they'd save me, but all my solutions involve murders for You have to stay the course and kill without remorse. Yeah, that sounds fun, but what has that done? We're still where we stand. The day isn't over yet. Our sun's not begun to set. No matter how small the wings of a fly can create hurricanes. Johnny Gat. Hope, I feel hope for the first time I've ever in my life. Gat is the name that cuts through my father like a knife. The seed of rebellion, it grows like weed. And someone so violent is just what I need. There's no turning back now, the die has been cast. This sinner has found her saint, I'll be free at last. The people, the music, it waits up above. I know I'll 